What's up, Holly Wire? We're Drax Project. Woke up late, saw me far away from home. Pockets empty, wallet gone. The sun is streaming all on down in my face. What's up, Holly Wire? We're here in the studio with Drax Project. Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, we're gonna play a game. Okay. It's called the Holly Words. Woo! Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> 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 uh. Pet peeve. Oh, oh, I think my pet peeve is that everyone snores here. <laughs> I snore, yeah. Everyone snores. I think I just sleep talk. Bro, you sleep talk, yeah, yeah. Give it another go. <laughs> Weird food combinations. Okay, so we used to live in a oh, flat man. together, um, and Matt used to. Okay, this is so disgusting. He used to buy like a whole kilo of like minced beef and a whole like packet of like spaghetti. Or, or just like two minute noodles, like Conscious, instant noodles. Nacho. So you, you buy like a huge, you buy heaps of meat and you can have that over three days and different meals. You can have one night you have nachos. One okay, night you usually have it in one massive bowl. Meatballs. With all these baked beans and mince and noodles. No, the and, best one was and baked. mackerel. I feel like people's go to on a tight budget is like ramen, like uh, a normal yeah. human. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to yeah. get the protein, so. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, probably should have. Okay, done that. touche. Anyway, one point, more? But, yeah. Oh. Private jet or yacht? Definitely if it was a yacht or a jet, what would you choose? Wait, what's like like a jet boat or a yacht? A private jet. It's a jet, oh, like a plane. plane. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> um, yacht, definitely yacht. Okay. Yeah, you'd have more fun on a <laughs> yeah. yacht. Jet. Oh. You can have a yacht. We're have torn. So how did you guys all meet? Sean was playing the saxophone, I was playing the drums. Um, we were just busking on the street, like playing covers. Um, like New Thrift Zealand. Shop and Justin um, Timberlake and stuff, yeah. Drums plus sax is Drax, that's how we got the name. Crazy oh. stuff, I know. And then Ben joined on guitar and Sam on the bass shortly after that. And busking, which I just learned what it is, and it's playing music in a public place. Like exactly, street yeah. performing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we were so, doing it to like, pay off our parking tickets that we accumulated <laughs> because busking. we were busking. Yeah. How did, so how did you guys go from busking to opening for Ed Sheeran and Lord and... We, yeah. we just like started playing heaps of shows and we didn't have any original songs until Ben joined and that's when we started like writing music mm -hmm. and that's when we started to get like festival slots and we were still playing like heaps of things like 50th birthday so parties and like yeah, high school parties. balls and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but then so slowly, like yeah. more and more shows, writing more music, and then we released Woke Up Late. And without Haley. Without Haley. In, in New Zealand. Mm. This was like 2017. And off the back of that, we got the Ed Sheeran. Yeah. And then open for but Camila Cabello around before Europe. Before that, like we had, how many shows do you think we've played before we played the Ed Sheeran show? I don't know. Hundreds. Hundreds of shows. Yeah. Hundreds of shows. Like, yeah. So it wasn't like an overnight thing at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you said that you first released, or without Haley Steinfeld. And then, didn't you just drop a music video for it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's out now, starring Liza Koshy. Did Haley like? Did you guys seek her out ahead of time, or were like, was she kind of like, I want to collaborate on this song? Well, because yeah. of the Camila tour, I think like Haley and Camila have some mutual friends, and while we were touring with Camila, somehow the song yeah. "Woke Up Late" made its way to. Hayley and her team and then we literally we were just at our studio back in New Zealand one day and our manager just comes in he's like do you guys want Hayley Steinfeld to feature on Woke Up Late? <laughs> we're like uh yup. <laughs> that's just like absolutely like crazy because we we had day jobs like a year and a half ago. I remember like Starving would come on the radio her song was Zed and I remember like going to work to go painting and I knew that the radio reception was just about to cut out while that song was playing, so I had to stop and pull over and listen to it. Oh, this isn't even a lie, like. And that was before. Before I like. Before anything. Before Woke this Up Late yeah. was even out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how would you? So when you were playing in the streets of New Zealand, how would you go about like dressing up, choosing location? There's a street in New Zealand called Cuba Street, and it's kind of like Wellington. a. Uh, what did I just say? New Zealand. <laughs> it is also in New Zealand. It's also in Wellington. Um, <laughs> we used to go there and on like the strip of clubs, which is really just like. Maybe like but 10. what's the Hollywood equivalent of like where's all of the like the Hollywood boulevards? Clubs. Uh, uh, I mean, it's they're Mulholland all over. Drive. But, I'm saying yeah. Mulholland Drive. There's like there's like that's a, there's literally like, the opposite like, of where any okay, clubs well, are in Hollywood. Like but short, okay, there's not very many clubs. 
And, but, but we used to play outside, we used to play outside like this movie theater and heaps of people would come out of the clubs at like 2 a.m. in the morning and we'd just be having a, like a party on the street. It was really fun. Play like Very a, dangerous. I like to move it, move it. All of that. Like just like that. If you guys want to donate, feel free. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no, seriously. I'm kind of obsessed with you guys. Um, so what's next for Drax Project? An album. But what can we expect on the album? Like, what kind of songs? Mm. Oh, you just have to wait and oh. see. Yeah. That we're is a terrible pumped. answer. <laughs> no, no, that's really bad. But how do we ask? Like, we're, we've been writing a whole bunch of different music. Like, we've been writing some, like, how to say, like, straight pop, but also, like... I think this is, like, there's the best songs we've ever written are on the album. Like, yeah. They're definitely. better than everything we've released before. Totally, yeah. yeah. We're real pumped, because, like, as we say, we've been, like, a band for quite a while, and we've played so many shows, and we've gone through, like, a lot of different stages of the type of music that we're writing and we're kind of like the album is less like a, like a melting pot of yeah. just like everything that we've been trying to write in the past and we're, we're, we're real excited um well thank you guys for being here thanks for having us i cannot us. wait to check out your album once you release it check out the next video soon mm -hmm.